Okay, just a quick little uh, video here of the layup of the vertical fin of the vertigo here. So what I've got is this is the the the, ch the chuck that goes on the bottom, and I've already set it up with tape um, on here. This is the bottom skin, which I've got set up with tape. Got the top skin, and this is the core that I'm going to be sheeting. Um, I've mixed up some uh, just a little tiny bit here of uh, West System epoxy. Just show that right here. What is it? 105 and 20. 105 and 205. So uh, we're all mixed up, so I'm just going to put it on and I'll show the layup here. These two items here make the job go a lot faster getting this ready. And uh, it's a pretty easy process. All right, here we go. Now I'm kind of putting it on thick here for this, uh, just for this demonstration. Hopefully you'll be able to see it in the camera. Um, when I get to the stabs and the wings, where I really want to keep it as thin as possible, I usually put a little bit of uh, red food coloring in the epoxy. And then you can very easily see um, what you're doing here and where you've missed spots. But for now, such a small little piece, we're good like this. Okay, so there is, there's the one piece. We'll do this side. It sucks if you get some on your table. I just put on this nice new sheet of drywall. Don't want to get it dirty. So hopefully I'm able to do this here without any drips. Notice I'm using my Walmart credit card. Hopefully this deters uh, Jen from using uh, from using it. I doubt that will deter her. So I'm just using the credit card here to go as close to the edge as I can. a little bit more right over here. It doesn't have to be right to the edge because I'll be cutting some of this off or edge trimming it later. So you can see how it's already soaked into the into the wood. Again for the stabs and the wings where there's a lot more surface area I'll be I'll be going a lot more uh, a lot thinner than this. Alright, clean off my, my credit card. Okay, so let's make sure here that we can see this. So next, all I'll do is put this on top. like that. There's a little bit of wood that sticks out on all sides. And I will do this one. Okay. Next I put in this piece. That's not going to 
fit too well. Shim. Probably don't even need this, but all right. Basically, now I just wrap it up like a present. I don't pull too hard on this. The last thing you want is to uh, is to deform it. It's really just to hold it until you can get it into the shucks and position nicely. tight here. I will flip it over and do this side here. Make sure that the cement block is sitting nice and flush on it. When it's a bigger system or a bigger uh, unit, I'll put down a sheet of plywood or uh, drywall and then put my weight on top to distribute it evenly. But this is a nice small little unit. Okay. That's it. I'll do a video of the stabs, which is much more, uh, much more detailed than, uh, than this little unit.